Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to update you guys on my Pan That Palette challenge that I've been trying to <laughs> take part in. Um, as you guys know, I'm new to makeup. I've never hit pan on anything ever. Um, you know, if I get sick and tired of a eyeshadow or a color or a makeup product, I just would switch and I would ignore it and it would fall to the wayside in my collection. And that was that. I didn't think twice about it. But after, you know, watching Amber F's video about how she was able to actually finish a palette, I was so inspired and I jumped into this and I was so ambitious and now I'm coming to realize that it is hard. <laughs> it is not easy trying to finish, you know, what you say you're going to finish and finishing an entire palette. And I chose to work on four little palettes, these ones right here, um, and... Yeah, I'm going to be the first to say that I am kind of struggling. So anyways, let me update you on the progress. I'll start with these because honestly, no progress has been made. On my Smashbox, this Maybelline Quad, and this Urban Decay 500 point perk from Sephora. Um, I've used them, but you really can't even tell. And I think part of that is because I... I chose so many small palettes that I can't really focus on any one. So that's something, that's like a little mistake that I made. Um, as for my Stila palette, that uh, this is one that I've been working on pretty much every day um, during the month of January. I would wear um, this, uh, the light color shade all over like the inner third of my eye and then the color next to it right there and then uh, the this shade right here more towards the outside. Um, I've been enjoying this palette. Um, still haven't hit pan on any of these shades and it's gonna be a while I think. But I didn't realize how hard it is to really finish an eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm seeing all these other people who have finished or at least hit pan on you know two, three, four, five shades and I'm like I still haven't hit pan on any of them. So yeah that's something I'm a little I'm struggling a little bit with. But I think what I'm going to do is actually change my Pan That palette a little bit. Um, instead of focusing on the all of those small palettes, I think instead I'm going to still focus on this Stila palette and just trying to finish this one up this year. But in addition to that, I'm going to try working on my Naked Basics palette. And the reason is because I use this palette every single day. Um, I love this palette. It's a great companion palette because all of these other shades that I showed, not all of them, but most of them are shimmer shades. And this entire Stila palette is shimmery. And I like to have a little bit of matte color mixed in. So I'm going to add my Naked Basics palette. Um, I really love, I love all of, the, all of these colors, um, but especially like these five. I really enjoy. Um, I still haven't hit pan on any of these um, and I think that this is one that is actually doable and it's a I think it's a realistic goal for me to finish up this palette so um, I'll be working on this in addition to the Stila palette and I think because I'm also working on this I can I will also not feel so guilty about neglecting all my other makeup palettes because, you know, I do have, you know, I have a, new, a brand new Naked 1 palette and I got my Chocolate Bar palette and I have my Naked 3 um, and I've been neglecting them because I've been trying, I've been so focused on working on these little guys that I'm like, I haven't even touched, you know, some of my newer palettes and I really, like, I want to use those, you know, and I don't want to feel guilty about using them. Um, and I know that this is a challenge where, you know, you're supposed to be, it's supposed to be fun, but it's also supposed to be challenging, and that, that's why it's a challenge, you know, it's a, it's a big commitment. But I think at this point, I'm just going to work on um, finishing up these two palettes this year um, and kind of branching out with other makeup in my collection while still using these as my main, my main go-to colors if that makes sense. So I'll use these and then also pull colors from other palettes um, you know to create different looks. So yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I mean I still love these 
and they're still great eyeshadows and they, you know, they look beautiful, but I think I was just pulling myself in too many directions where, you know, I was not able to focus on one thing. So I think by narrowing it down to these two, oops, these two, which are very wearable, I think I'll be able to accomplish my goal of finishing them at least a little easier. I know it'll still be a struggle because I'm very much like, oh, I'm tired of that. Let me go try something else. You know, I'm one of those people. So, <laughs> um, yeah. And so if any of you guys are also doing this uh, Pan That Palette Challenge, um, I'd love to know your experiences. Are you getting... You know, are you still feeling like you're going strong? Are you getting a little discouraged? Or, you know, what has your experience been? Because I know that I I haven't been discouraged, but I've been a little bit... It's been kind of difficult for me to really focus on working on one thing. So, yeah, that's been my experience. Anyways, um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!